This crew is one of a kind. Everyone has a very distinct personality. Everyone has been an incredible joy to work with. I mean, most, most are people I've known for a long time, so that's made it really special. It's not just a film set, it's a, I mean, it's just, it's like a group of great friends hanging out and we just happen to be making some really cool stuff. We don't have a lot of like, you know, people in dedicated roles, no one dedicated to doing script, no one dedicated to, to doing continuity. I love the vibe. All the cast and crew seem to have like a really good symbiosis together. So I feel like there's a lot of teamwork involved. Um, I feel like everybody's helping everybody else. So it makes the whole process of, of shooting kind of effortless and easy to go through. Are we rolling? Yeah. How are you? I'm Michael Caradano. I'm the producer for Blood From Stone. Tonight we're at Atomic Liquors. We are doing our first major fight sequence. We have our uh, our, our actors out here who are working out the uh, the details of the choreography. Our director Jeff Ryan would like to do all of this in one take. So it's uh, it's uh, it is. It's just like a dance. They're chore choreographing the, the the steps, the moves, the punches, and uh, see if we can't make this exciting for everyone to open the movie. Oh. You can see that the way he frames stuff, there's a long shot and he conducts them in a very theatrical way where you have this long scene where there's no cheating, there's no cutting, there's no every two seconds like in Hollywood movies, like turn of the head, next shot, turn of the head, next shot. I mean, it's like a broken puzzle. This is more like a solid piece, even though, of course, he's going to cut it, but working with him is pleasurable because he would allow me to, 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 to build myself throughout the scene. That's one of the biggest problems in, movies because you, in the movies because you can't get the momentum. You get on the set, they wake you up, hey, here's your scene when you cry, your, your eyes out, and you're like, whoa, wait, I just woke up, you know? But in a theater, you would build up to that. Well, Jeff does that. He allows these long scenes. That was really good. That was our first solid one in my mind. I was telling people about the production. I was like, it's like a six person crew. They're all doing like 10 jobs. Everyone's super awesome. We're doing these crazy night shoots and everyone's just being like such team players and like making a really cool story come to life. So that's been super exciting to see because I didn't know how big the crew was going to be coming out here. Hi, I'm Mika. I'm one of the producers. Um, we're just filming one of the opening scenes for the film actually. Um, so we're outside of Atomic Liquors and I'm making some cocaine. It's been a complicated process, putting drips of water into sugar, making it clump. Today I want to show you guys some of our dead bodies. So right here we have Sweet Leonard. It took me a while to get his hair correctly. Um, what we did actually was we bought um, a long weave of hair and then just snipped that up and modge podged it on here. So Sweet Leonard, you're going to have a rough night. You guys put like an Oreo cookie it in smells really good. Because it's really good. <laughs> I love this luxury. It's better than food. It smells really good. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of teamwork involved. Um, I feel like everybody's helping everybody else. So it makes the whole process of, of shooting kind of effortless and easy to go through. Do it. That's great. Awesome. No problem. Oh! No, wait, wait, wait. Good. That felt really good. That felt really good. That was the best one. Yeah, definitely. It's pretty much ego-free set and, and but talented and artistic people and then of course everybody has a good sense of humor so when you combine all these things I mean there was so many fun moments. Full action and then you do your thing over here. Yeah. 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 We were here in Nevada in Pioneer Saloon in the Boonies and I'm about to kill a bunch of folks <laughs> in a good old western bar. Hi, Colin Ward. I play, uh, I don't know what his name is, Sam the bartender or something. And, uh, One, two, three. Can you do that? Yeah. Perfect. Apparently, 
I end up leaving in a body bag. Which is all good. You know, like some directors are really crazy about like you get the lines perfect and he was he was obviously you have to know the lines but he was he was like very uh, free about that. He he was just like if you wanna you know, add something or make it more alive then you can do that. And it, that that really helps a lot because it makes me kind of feel free to live in that space and in that moment. When you make a piece of art, you're sending it out to the world and you have no clue who you'll get uh, to hear back from. I would like actually to ask them, what did you see there? What, what do you think it was about? I feel a much bigger sense of responsibility because there's so many people involved that are putting so much themselves into it. Nice! That was the winner. Yes! Glad we did that one for fun. <laughs> Obviously not for a big paycheck. They're doing it because they believe in the project. They believe in what I'm trying to accomplish with it. And so that's really the hardest part is making sure every day that I'm delivering the best I can in all those different areas so that all the effort that's being put into this, everyone else feels like it's worthwhile. chit-chatting and shit. Oh, what up? There was this general sense of like group accomplishment that came together. It was one of those where none of us knew if it was going to work out because we were trying to pull off something that would normally be, you know, everybody knew the constraints were under to do that. And so when we accomplished it, you could just see this general sense of joy, exhaustion, accomplishment, and just this group uh, camaraderie that, that made it all possible. It's not an easy road, it's all consuming. Uh, we'll see where this one goes. I'm hoping it's a film for everyone as opposed to no one. Uh, hopefully they liked it, but at the very least I want them to walk away feeling like they just got a very unique experience that they haven't seen before. Let's do it. Let's do it.